Today, we will discuss how to convert any object, maybe this default cube in Blender, into a brick wall like this. And for this purpose, we will use a geometry node setup, which is called Brick Wall Generator. You can use this in order to create a game arcade, or a battlefield, in your app. Or you can also use it for interior designing, or a floor plan. So let us start with a blank new file. We will convert this default cube into a brick wall. And we have enabled HDRI lighting for this scene. Now go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier called Geometry Nodes. Then from this drop-down, we will add a node called Brick Wall Generator. You need to first download and install it from the link given below. Once we add this, it will convert the cube into this brick wall, where the bricks have real-life size. You can scale it up if you need, or you can also move or rotate the wall and place it wherever you prefer in your scene. And the size of the wall can be customized easily through these fields. So let's say we change this to 3. We get a wall that is exactly 3 meters in length, the dimensions are same as in real life. And we can also change the height of the wall from here, maybe 1 meter. So now we get a wall which is taller. If you enter a higher value, it can hang for a moment because the calculations can take more time, no need to worry. Now click on these two plus icons, so that these two fields become editable. We can use this displacement field, in order to displace the bricks from their original positions. So let's change its value to say 0.02. And we will discover that the bricks got randomly displaced. It looks like a brick wall in a ruined construction, it's just an option you can use. This can be helpful in case you are using this in a game. Otherwise you should use a very low value for a more realistic output. Or just disable it completely if you are using this for say interior designing. And then we can use this weather factor to control these dark patches on the wall which is coming from the shader material. Let us reduce this value to say 0.75. And the weathering effect will become lighter. It depends on the purpose of your walls. And you can also place the bricks vertically, by changing this field to 1. Now the bricks will be stacked vertically, they will stand on their shortest side. This geometry node will also add two suitable materials for the wall, based on two textures. They are called wall brick material, and then wall joint material. This material is for these joints between each pair of bricks. And the corresponding UV maps are also created automatically by this brick wall generator. So here is the node setup created for the first material. You can access the UV map for the bricks through an attribute node. Here the attribute name should be UV map wall. And for the second material, it should be UV map joint. So you can use these UV maps and create a different material of your own. Or you can just replace these texture files with some other texture. If you need variations, you can create another version of the same wall, like this, with a different texture. Or maybe a combo of two textures, it's all up to your choice and creativity. This is the standard version of this node, we are giving it for free, to all our channel members for this month. So click on the join button before the month end, otherwise you can also download it from the link below. And now, we have an advanced version of this same node setup. It has got few more useful options, and the most important feature is, we can now even customize the brick dimensions as per our choice. So in place of a rectangular brick, we can make all dimensions equal, and the bricks will take a cube shape. Cool, but I think this has slightly ruined the texture, depending upon the size of the wall, sometimes it can happen. In that case, we should rectify the brick material through Shader Editor. In this mapping node, let us make a change to the scale factors, maybe 3.5. Now, you'll see that the scale change has rectified the minor issues with the texture. There is no magic number, you need to discover which value works best in your case. Next, we have this hide joints. If we enable this, there won't be any joint or mortar visible on the wall. This may be suitable in some cases, and it works best when we add brick displacements. We'll test it with a higher value like 0.02. This looks good, and little bit of bevel is also added to the bricks, which is not available in the standard version. So this is better for displacements. Then we have a field called Horizontal Gap, it will place the bricks with some gaps between each pair of bricks. Let us enter a value like 0.05, and we will get a structure like this, with the bricks maintaining a fixed gap. You can experiment with the brick size, for a variation in the advanced version, it's very easy to create various different types of brick structures now with this powerful node. Maybe we can fine-tune the amount of gap as well. 
and later you can even separate the bricks by loose parts through the edit mode. Then add rigid body physics, or create collisions, the possibilities are unlimited. So that's all for today. If you like this brick wall generator, please let us know in the comments below. We are also creating a stone wall generator, which is coming soon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.